Hey guys, it's H4, aka Beernor himself, your chin strap commander, your mud shot mercenary, and your facial hair of destiny. And all that stuff. And I'm coming to you with a little bit of a quiet commentary because my fiance, aka future wife, is sleeping. So you have to bear with me with the volume that I'm giving to you this commentary to you at. And uh, I know some of you might have been like, what happened, Beernor? Did you die? Somebody asked me if I was alright. <laughs> yes, I'm all right. Um, the main hang-up for me has been uh, the amount of hours I've been working at work. Uh, I mentioned in my last video that I got a new job, and, and that's uh, par for the course is, you know, taking on as many hours as you can, and I'm trying to aggressively move up if I can. Uh, but uh, all in all, I'm just trying to learn as much as I can on the job and, and uh, do the best job that I can. But uh, that being said, uh, this gameplay is a little bit of an older gameplay. It's on Tremor. Uh, I think I go 27 and 5, uh, which is a respectable score. Uh, nothing crazy. Uh, using that similar overkill class that I mentioned in a video prior. And uh, by the end, I pick up someone else's weapon. I think it was uh, one of my uh, clanmates' uh, weapons, and I picked it up and kind of went ham with it at the end. But uh, I had a pretty decent game. Um, went through the streaks once or twice, uh, and... Uh, not too bad, but uh, what I wanted to talk to you guys about today is uh, kind of get ca caught up with you guys. Obviously, uh, I've been busy, but uh, also to let you guys know about uh, Slider's new channel. Now, if you don't remember Slider, Slider was the uh, uh, hip fire bitch. He was the uh, <laughs> he was the one of the major uh, acting uh, roles in the Beard North series, live action series. A lot of people love Slider quite a bit. Uh, he's going to be taking a crack at YouTube, he wants to do some gameplay commentary, and I'm, I'm all for it, I'll, I'll support him to the end, and uh, uh, he's doing that on a channel called Slider's Campsite, which is aptly named considering how he plays. Um, he's very, very positional player, a very defensive player. Look at this guy try to shock him. You're not going to get it from there, dude. <laughs> A little bit closer, maybe. But, um, yeah, so he's uh, started a new channel, and uh, he put up his first video, uh, I think, either today or yesterday, uh, depending on when uh, you guys are seeing this. But, um, yeah, definitely go get go check that out. I'm going to leave a, a link up in, in an annotation there, but I'm also going to leave it in the description uh, if you guys need it. And definitely you should check it out and tell him I sent you and give him some love. It's his first uh, audio commentary, and I know that's a little bit weird. A little bit jarring. It's weird talking to yourself in front of a screen and uh, maybe even staring at yourself in my case because I have uh, the webcam. But um, yeah, no, it takes a little while to get comfortable. And once you do, it's uh, it just comes naturally and it's uh, a lot of fun. But uh, I wish him all the best, and I hope uh, I know you guys will find his stuff pretty hilarious over time as he as he starts unleashing all the inner slider and, and uh, letting out all kinds of his crazy uh, personality, which is uh, a lot of fun. So do check out his channel, and again, it's Slider's Campsite. Uh, but outside of that, uh, this gameplay I was actually playing with him and uh, uh, S.T. Brown and, and I believe uh, his brother as well, and we were so four of us at least, uh, clan members. And we were just going in on these guys, and uh, they weren't really that tough of a competition, to be perfectly honest, but uh, it was a fun game. But, well, man, I gotta get some new gameplay for you guys, because I was looking at my hard drive, and I was like, holy crap, I got a lot of old gameplay. But I'm thinking I might actually take a, a trip into the past and go play some older games, and, and might try some different games as well and upload that and see what you guys think but uh, as long as I'm uploading something because it's been a while and it's I think it's been like three weeks and uh, hopefully you guys will be patient with me I know uh, they're trying to give me almost full-time hours uh, if, if I'm fortunate enough to get that uh, the next couple weeks won't be like that but after that it's going to be uh, pretty intensive in terms of how busy I am but I'll try my best uh, to do so but um, yeah, so how have you guys been doing? Uh, and, and tell me in the comments below what, how you've been doing, what you've been up to, what games you've been playing. And uh, what do you guys think of that new Call of Duty, like the, the information? Obviously, there's a bunch of leaked BS information about it being a, a World War One time-shifting BS uh, shooter like that. And I was like, oh, God, I hope not. And like, I, I, don't get me wrong, I wouldn't mind a, a, you know an older era style game, but... Uh, you know, to do it in such a weird, funky way, I was, uh, you know, a little bit worried for the series. But uh, with them going to advanced warfare, as it seems, and, and I trust uh, 
trust Drifter's judgment. I, I do typically trust Drifter's judgment when he uh, uh, talks about leaked information or people leaking him information. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what that's all about. Um, it's it kind of reminds me of Elysium, you know, like in in, in Elysium they had the exoskeleton uh, thing that they grafted to Matt Damon, and uh, it seemed to uh, be a neat idea. I wonder how fast you'll run in this game, or if it's just a matter of strength as opposed to speed, uh, or if even a marathon perk will be necessary given that you have an exoskeleton. Um, might be an interesting thing to look at, um, but in terms of the the gameplay, it looks like it's going to be. Um, you know, and another advanced uh, warfighter, and, and I'm all for it. Uh, it's nice to have some new toys and some new, new bells and whistles. Oh, I actually didn't uh, steal this. I picked my change classes. Okay, so this is my my F80. But um, but yeah. So what do you guys think about that? I I'm actually kind of excited. I'm excited that it's Sledgehammer Games making it all by themselves because. As many people who trashed on Modern Warfare 3, I actually kind of liked the the flow of that game. I didn't find it too bad, aside from the death streaks. It was a pretty fun game. I had a lot of fun playing it, and it's a shame that I got into uploading content kind of after the Modern Warfare 3 era was done, because I, I really enjoyed and played the shit out of that game. <laughs> and uh, we had some fun, exciting gameplay. And how did I miss this dude? <laughs> and how did he miss me, more importantly? But, um... Yeah, no, it looks like those leaked images are pretty cool, and I, I'm interested, and, I, and I'm definitely going to be looking forward to playing another Call of Duty, because, I'm, you know, to be honest, Ghost has gotten a little bit tired, and uh, more quickly than I thought it might, but, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think below of that new information. Check out Charlie Intel if you haven't uh, seen anything about it and, and get up to date on it, but it uh, looks like it's going to be cool, and here's Steve crushing somebody with a griffin for the final kill as it explodes itself because uh, he gets the final kill. But uh, I'm glad to be back. I'm glad to uh, upload a video for you guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.